just like spend an entire day here and then hopefully find like one good thing. R7 TP wedge. Oh, it's right at it. Get a good bounce. How much did you want for these irons and then this, uh, the uh, Cobra fairway wood? All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are at yet another brand new flea market to us. Always looking for golf clubs, never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Oh, this is a uh, golf only booth here. Yeah. Tons of stuff. This is just the ladies section. <laughs> or maybe they're just marked differently. Yeah. Yo, this is all ladies stuff right here. You got a Callaway X-Hot 2. $90, got an Aero Burner, one of the first uh, ladies clubs that I bought, actually. Mm -hmm. Go back to those. <laughs> go back to like uh, the original clubs that you got, see if there's any difference. Or go back to my, <laughs> yeah, go back to my like junior clubs, see if I've uh, wasted my entire life trying to find clubs. <laughs> Set of R7s. TPS Bump and Run by Powerboat. There you go. Ashley's no, ever-growing collection of chippers. Good morning. How's it going? Some are left-handed. Okay. Right Those Whoa. prices are not the price I would sell them at. Okay. How much is this one? Uh, it's $160. You can buy it on eBay for probably 180. Okay. I'll probably sell it to you for 160. 150. 150. 150. Okay, cool. Thank you. you. Like that H blade? You have one? No, nah, never even seen one. Yeah. How much on this guy? Or is that the price there? This is $40, this is a ping, quality club, 30, 30. 30? Yep. Can you do 20? Can you do 20? How are you? I will not do 20. Okay. No, thank you very much. I know we're a flea market, but you know what? That's a quality club. Okay. You said 30? 30. Yep. Cool. Okay, you want to clean it up? No, I'm okay. Okay, but you clean it up with Coca-Cola. Yep. Okay. Not diet coke. <laughs> Not diet coke. <laughs> Not diet coke. Gotta coke the sugar, yeah. But, but Coca-Cola, leave it in there for about two days. Don't do anything with it. And then, uh, I don't see any of here. But very fine steel, steel, steel wool. Very fine. Okay. Get it shine up like that. Cool. So, there he is. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's a whole booth of golf clubs. Got some Walter Hagen for Simmons, bunch of old iron sets. It's like overwhelming. Yeah, there's so many clubs. How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Well, let me know if I can help you. Guys. All right, thank you. Yeah. Anything in particular you're looking for now, really? Just anything interesting. Yeah, I got a lot of interesting junk. <laughs> okay. A lot of junk. That's the kind of stuff we like. Bazooka J-Max. Bazooka J-Max full set. Houdini. Yep. Oh, it's like a mix of the uh, Houdini's and then the uh, the J Max one. That's like the regular hybrid irons. Mm -hmm. Got a full set of hammer woods. What the heck? Talk about something interesting. What the heck is this thing? I've never seen one of them. Looks almost like a uh, chipper. Yeah, I know it, <laughs> but it's not. It's an eight iron. What brand is it? Slinger. I've never Slinger. Heard of it. <laughs> interesting. Real jump, huh? <laughs> got a bunch of loose irons over here. We got a Vokey wedge, Cobra Biocell Plus. Oh. I don't know what the prices are on anything. Matrix OZ shaft. Whoa, look at this Ben Hogan bag. That thing is pretty sweet. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a Pepsi bag right there too. Huh. Oh yeah, that's cool, PGA of America one. Let's go take another look through these irons, see if we missed anything. We can give you a little better price if you okay. see something you like. Ooh, some Ben Hogan Apex irons. I think these are the Sunburst model. The original grips. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Still got the person's name on it. Let's see if it's a full set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No equalizer. 
and go Ben Hogan Apex uh, forged blades to a square strike. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true equalizer. Hogan. Yeah, these Look are really nice. Look at this bag I got. Oh yeah, you were just admiring it. <laughs> the Hogan? Yeah. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, that's it. I put it up there yesterday. That's nice. The guy, guy's supposed to come back for it, but I don't, you know. Yeah. Everybody says that. <laughs> yeah, well, well, some do, but they do come back. That's, that's it anyway. Cool. How much did you want for these irons and then see. this, uh, the uh, Cobra, fairway wood? I think it. Apexes. Yeah. What'd you say? I think they had 60 on them. Yeah. No. I'll... Give me 60 for, for all three. 60 for everything, all three. Okay, we can do that. Cool. Wait for these. Well, we already had this yeah, one. Yeah, this one's ours. I know that. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Just these two. Okay. Cool. I literally missed this entire half of the uh, golf store. <laughs> we get overwhelmed easy. Yeah. You can just like spend an entire day here and then hopefully find like one good thing. R7 TP wedge set. Yeah. By oh, those are eight irons, so yeah. that's fun. Got some more golf clubs over here. Callaway Big Bertha Heavenwood Hybrid. Master Grip Putter. Kind of looks like the uh, Bobby Grace Putter. Mm -hmm. Wilson 1200s. Let's see how much they... Yeah, the grip is pretty good. Let's see how much they want for this. Yeah, at first I thought you were going for the Team Jacob Twilight thing. Team Jacob Twilight thing? <laughs> you know me. What's the other dude's name? I'm that guy's team. Edward. Edward. Is this your booth? Yes. How much do you want for the club? Two dollars. Two dollars? We can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good you day. You too. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Excited to try everything out, but that flea market. That, that was, was a lot of clubs. Yeah, that was a lot of clubs. That one vendor had to have had at least like 5,000 yeah, clubs. So. But we're going to try everything out, show you some eBay comps. We're going to play a little alternate shot from Ashley's Tees. The first hole is... A mighty 300 yards. So I'm going to go with that uh, Cobra Biocell Plus 3 wood slash 4 wood. It's uh, adjustable to uh, in between both of them. You can adjust the loft right there. And this usually goes for about $75. There are a bunch going for over 100 but this one's not in the best shape. Although it's got a pretty good shaft in it. So maybe it'll go for about $75. Mm -hmm. But let's see if it's any good. 300 yards. Ashley should have a uh, one of those, those Hogan irons. You guys know we're Hogan fans. We brought uh -huh. out one of the uh, Hogan bags to uh, hold it. And it's looking... Those are looking good. Yeah. Not going to be easy to hit, but they should be fun. But let's It'll see what we can do here. Yeah, let's see if we can't shoot. Like, what do you think? One well, over, two over? Probably, seeing that I'm hitting blades. <laughs> <laughs> it should be fun, but let's see what we can do. First hole, 300 yards, going with the Cobra. Wow. Well, that has been one of the uh, better three wood shots that I've had in a while. You guys know that I struggle with the three wood. Yeah. But I can see why people like the uh, older Cobra ones. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to convince you to try them out more. But... Yeah, Ashley's bag is like almost all Cobra, yeah. but we got about... Uh, I didn't leave you with a good yardage. Yeah. You got like a pitch shot with the... Uh, we don't have an equalizer, so we'll go with the 9 iron yeah. of the uh, Ben Hogan's. I think these are the 1973 Apex Blades. They made a bunch of them. I think this one's nicknamed the uh, Sunburst. It's got a little bit of uh, like Sunburst around the logo mm -hmm. there. They don't go for a crazy amount of money, but to find them in this good that a condition, good condition yeah, this crazy. is the nine iron, which usually gets used the most, this in the uh, equalizer. And I think this still, yeah, all of the original grips, all the original shafts, so that's pretty cool. We'll throw uh -huh. up the uh, actual eBay comp. I guess they go for about $100, but I didn't see any in that good a condition. No. Let's see if Ashley can't put one close and get it started off. Then we'll get to the uh, worst uh, purchase of the day. <laughs> the putter was not a good deal, but no. let's see what Ashley can do. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, that is going to be a fun shot. It just trickled into the uh, bunker. Yeah, we don't have a wedge, do we? Well, I'll go with that one. Yeah. We'll get to hit it twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. All right, next up, the worst deal of the day. Who knows, it could be the uh, world's greatest putter's new putter, but... Yeah, we've the, never uh, seen an H-Blade before. Yeah, we've never seen the H-Blade before. It kind of looks exactly like the uh, A-Blade, mm -hmm. but the H-Blade uh, does not go for that much, and his pricing was kind of confusing. He had, yeah. like, eBay prices on there, and then he also had, like, regular prices, so I didn't know which one was which. I think he had it marked for $40, and then I offered... He said 30 and I offered 20. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know which prices he was saying because there was eBay prices. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter, but uh, ended up getting the Ping H-Blade to see if it's the world's greatest putter's new putter. Oh, that thing oh. broke hard at the end. <laughs> Let's see what we could do on the next hole. Ashley's uh, tee shot. I think it's a uh, par three, probably about 100 yards. Mm -hmm. Well, it's right at it. Get a good bounce. Oh. And just short. Just short. 
You might be able to get that up and down though. Well, I went with the eight iron and I think if I would have hit it well, it would have gone on the green, but I didn't hit it well and I definitely feel it in my elbow. So we're just short of the green. <laughs> Old blades will definitely give you some feedback yes, on where you absolutely. hit it. <laughs> That's looking good. Now sit, sit. That's makeable for there. Makeable for you. <laughs> Those greatest putter. Oh no. Now we'll have to make a birdie on the last one. Luckily it is a pretty short par four, so I think possible. We'll, it's possible. <laughs> Not based on our current play. No. <laughs> <laughs> that ball is halfway to uh, China in there. We'll take that out. But I could lie and tell you that this hole is like 340 yards and I almost drove the green, but it is 240 yeah, yards. I but think it definitely would have rolled. Yeah, it would have rolled on if we haven't had like monsoon season over here, but yep. we'll clean that off and see if we can't chip it up there. Close for birdie. Ashley's got some spectators back there in those sand hill cranes. They made her nervous, so she opted for the putter, which is probably the wise choice. <laughs> oh, get through there. <laughs> It should break, but I don't know if it's going to break that much. It's, it's trying. It was probably better than what I would have done in just chunking it <laughs> in all that mud. covered in mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can't uh, end here with the birdie. Mm -hmm. Make those uh, sand hill cranes happy. Jealous of our birdie. Well, they're birdie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh, that's looking perfect. <laughs> nice putt. Oh man, who would have thought that I would have made the only putt of the day. But hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like, run, and subscribe, and we'll see you next see time. Next. Oh, also we got this uh, Callaway Heavenwood, which goes for about oh, yeah. twenty. We've hit that before, though. Yeah, We're, I really like it. Yeah, the old uh, Callaway Heavenwood uh, hybrids goes for about twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit like, run, and subscribe, and, and we'll see you next time. The birds still aren't impressed. No, not at all. <laughs>